challenges. I'm gonna do the six stretch thing with my neck. Mm -hmm. I kinda do this like stretch thing with my neck. Mm -hmm. It's like tangy. Do you smoke cigarettes? Okay, um, this is the antidepressant that I'm currently taking. This is a generic form of Prozac. I recently um, started taking 80 milligrams, which is the, uh, the maximum dosage that it's recommended that humans take. So I, I don't know where to go from here, but the thing with antidepressants is that if you keep taking them for years and years, which I have, you will build up a tolerance to them and then you have to increase the dosage until that medicine doesn't work anymore and then um, start something new. So, alley -oop. and self-defeating um, it's really a battle against myself to just feel secure and confident um, but I've recently really um, kind of come to this incredible breakthrough where this last winter it was it was literally it was as if I died like in my soul it was as if like that part of me came to such a climax and such a build um, and I was so suicidal and so genuinely like ready to start over that I kind of um, woke up one day and I was like all right so I died last night and now today I'm a new person and I'm free to be myself and I kind of I went to this um I spend some time uh, studying Lakota shamanism and uh, doing uh, sweat lodges um, out near Cockeysville. They have this place called the Guy Healing Center. And uh, they have four sweat lodges a year. And um, I, I recently went to this, and I definitely, I would, uh, I would defeat myself if I
myself. <coughs> so this is like my little living room area space. Um, I try to create kind of an atmosphere that's pleasant to me, that's surrounded by things that are aesthetically pleasing and visually comforting to me. So I collect a lot of stuff. Obviously, I'm not like a terribly organized person, but um, I just have a lot of art that's hanging up around. Some of it's just posters and stuff I like, but um, I did this painting of a goat. It was a picture that I'd taken at Farm Sanctuary, and then I just started making a nice painting. These are some like recent drawings I did down here, um, just uh, thinking about geometry and color and stuff. Um, I have this like larger sculptural kind of thing with this like yarn that I uh, dyed myself and this was for the vagina monologues. Um, I have this large painting over here that um, it's just birds and it's kind of set up like an altar space but not an altar space to Captain Morgan that just happens to be there. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is this room, it's basically just used as like a closet. Uh, don't really hang out in here a lot. This is a drawing that I recently did in thinking about um, some sacred geometry uh, concepts. I call this the Heart of Hearts piece because um, I was trying to like figure out the flower of life, the geometry behind that. And I actually failed and ended up creating this. And then it was kind of this whole um, involvement of working, starting inward and working out. Obviously, it's it's not completely done. But that was fun to color in. Um, so this is my bedroom. Um, and like I just, this this room in particular is just especially comfortable to me. Um, I have a lot of art hanging up on the walls here, but also just a lot of like photo references and posters and things that I find beautiful and comforting. Um, some of the stuff in here that I've made, I recently, I made this, uh, it's kind of like a natural wind chime, I guess you could call it. I made that about a week ago. That was right before I went to the uh, Spring Sweat Lodge. Um, I have like altars set up. The room is actually set up with altars for the directions. It goes north, east, south, west, and the room, it's set up so that the energy moves sunwise, like clockwise. So it's in accordance with like a magical space, a magical setting. This is traditionally like my main altar space, but right now it's just kind of covered with Things. I have some like tarot cards from a reading I did the other night and um, some artwork that a friend has given me recently. Um, 